What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of The Undercover Swede. Today we're talking tech. Both of these devices, the Nvidia Shield TV and the Google Home Mini run the Google Assistant. But when you use them together, is it a match made in heaven or a dysfunctional relationship? Tune into today's episode to find out. Okay guys, so today we are talking about Google Assistant once more. If you haven't seen my previous video about how to use the Generation 2 controller, this bad boy here uh, with the Nvidia Shield to get your hands-free Google Assistant working, check out my previous video on the topic. I recently got hold of one of these, uh, Google Home Mini, fantastic device. Uh, I really, 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 really love this device. Okay, and it's kind of kicked out Alexa. Why would you even need one of these devices if Google Assistant is running on Google Shield hands-free? Well, the first thing to remember is that this controller here, which is always listening, uh, it does not have a speaker built into it. Okay, so your assistant uses your TV, the speakers on the TV to speak back to you. This device, of course, is a speaker. So it's able to give you commands without any additional additional processing. Okay, so they're kind of different devices and when you combine them together, you get this really, really interesting mix of things. One important thing to remember is that the Shield TV has Chromecast video built in. And one of the cool features of the Google Home Mini and all of the Google Home devices is that you can cast over to Chromecast video device. Okay, so of course the Google Home Mini is able to do that with the Shield, but it's a little bit more complicated than that. It doesn't just see it as a Chromecast device, it's more than that. And that's difficult to explain. I've seen a lot of people in forums trying to do that, so I thought the best thing to do was to film a video of trying various different commands and seeing how the Google Home Mini interacts with the Google Assistant on Shield TV. Okay, let's jump to the demonstration part of today's video. Okay guys, so welcome to the demonstration section of today's video. Uh, here's the setup. I of course have the Mini over here. I have the Shield Generation 2 controller over here uh, with the always listening mode on. And then of course I have my TV and just on top of my PlayStation 4, you can see the Shield itself. Okay, so the first thing to show you is that when I say Google, the buzzword and then Google, both units sort of respond. Okay, hey Google, what time is it? 421. So let's break down what just happened there. Uh, so both units were able to acknowledge my command. Uh, we heard the uh, acknowledgement beep from the Google Home Mini, but it was the Shield Assistant which answered to the reply. And that's because I have the TV on, the TV speaker is on, and so then these two guys are intelligent enough to work out that, hey, I should respond on the TV, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go into this setting. I'm just gonna put you guys down. Okay, looks good. Uh, I'm gonna turn this setting on to enable OK Google when TV is off. Okay, so let's turn that on. Okay, now I'm gonna turn off the TV. Hey Google, turn off the TV. So, previously guys, I was using this setting because uh, I wanted to use Google even when my TV was off. Let's see what happens here. Hey Google, what time is it? 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 
Okay guys, so this is the first thing that I would recommend that you should turn off on your Shield TV and this is because for some reason, I'm not quite sure why, uh, Google has decided to prioritize the Android TV, the assistant running on Shield above the Google Mini, okay? Uh, now, I don't know why this is the case, but this is what happens. When I'm asking for the time, uh, the, the Shield assistant is taking over and the answer is being called out. However, I'm not able to see it because the TV is off, okay? Um, now, I've tried this in a various different scenarios. I've tried to put this mini all the way on the other side of my kitchen and uh, it doesn't seem to affect things. Uh, the, the Shield Assistant seems to be taking priority, okay? The Google Home Mini seems to pass the information over to the Shield and seems to say, hey buddy, you, you take this one, even when my TV is off. So that's the first thing that I recommend. Go into your settings and turn off this feature. Let me show you. Okay, so I strongly suggest if you're hoping to run these two systems and have them in the same room to go into system and enable, disable this OK Google when TV is off feature. Okay, turn it off. It doesn't seem to work so well. You're gonna get a ton of ghost uh, replies where replies are coming out through your TV speaker but your TV is off. Okay guys, one important thing to note uh, is that I am not able to place the Shield TV into a group, okay? I just can't do it. So the option of having the Google Home Mini and the Shield in a multi-room group is just not available. The Google Home Mini sees the Shield TV as a Chromecast video device and this means you're not able to place it into a multi-room group. This is really frustrating because most people have an excellent speaker attached to their televisions, okay? Super, super annoying. Okay guys, so quick demonstration to show you that the casting ability uh, works perfectly fine uh, with both of these two. So I can say, hey Google, play John Olson videos. Okay, playing John Olson videos from YouTube on Shield. And you can see here that it works really, really nicely. Stop it there. Um, so yeah, no problem with that, guys. Uh, I think that what's going on here is that the Google Home Mini is obviously unable to play videos itself. It identifies the Shield as the only device in this house which is Chromecast video enabled. And so it throws the video from here onto there. Now with music and sound, it works a little bit differently. Let me show you. Hey Google, play songs by Stormzy. Should I still play that on Shield? No. No problem, here's Stormzy on Spotify. Hey Google, stop. So, guys, you see what happened here is that I have, uh, the setup that I have enabled is that it will ask me first whether I want it played on the TV or whether I would like it to use the internal speaker here. You can go into the Google Home app and make it so that the default setting is for it always to play on the TV and then it will bypass this speaker. Okay, but I again, I don't really recommend that. I think that you can have this really neat feature where it asks you first, where do you want me to play this? Okay, so, so far uh, what I've shown you is basically the capabilities that all home devices have with Chromecast. But here's where it gets a little bit interesting, okay? What if I ask the home device to turn on an app which only exists in the Android TV? So let's try ViaPlay. Uh, ViaPlay is a sort of Netflix equivalent that we have here in Sweden. Hey Google, uh, open ViaPlay. Sorry, I'm not sure how to help. Okay, so it, it has no idea how to do that even though I have the ViaPlay app on the Shield TV, it's just not able to pick it up. However, if I turn the TV on first, hey Google, turn on the TV. And now you can see in my menu, if I show you up, here is the ViaPlay app. And then I ask, hey Google, launch ViaPlay. 
the Shield TV Assistant kicks in and that is able to find the Android TV app, okay? Um, so a little bit frustrating that it's not able to figure out that, hey, you have this app and I can put it on for you, okay? That's really something that I, I would love to see improved. Now, just for those of you who are a little bit skeptic out there thinking, okay, this is just like a cast device. It's not, let me show you. Hey Google, set an alarm for tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. All right, your alarm set for tomorrow at 9 a.m. Okay, and just uh, in case it was a little bit quick for you, I'll show you one more time. Hey Google, set an alarm for tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. All right, your alarm set for tomorrow at 6 a.m. Okay, we get this uh, really, really interesting notification which says answering on another device. Right now, the Shield Assistant is not able to set alarms. Okay, so even though it knows that it seems to know that it can't do that and seems to throw it over to this guy to set the alarm. Okay, so they are aware of each other and they, you know, this is kind of strange behavior, but it, it weirdly it works. Okay, a little demonstration with music. Uh, hey Google, play Stormzy on the shield. So here we are getting the casted version of Spotify. Okay, this is not the Android TV version. I can show you the difference here. The, the Google Home Mini is simply Chromecasting uh, the music that you have requested. It's not using the Android TV app. Let me show you. Okay, so totally different. So when you request music to be played on your Shield, uh, it will use the casting feature, not the uh, Android TV app. Okay guys, so to uh, end this demonstration section of this video, here is how I have managed to get things working best. Turn off the feature which has the shield always listening with the TV off, okay? Turn it off um, and then interact with your Google Home mini unit as normal. And when you wish to use TV specific uh, commands, then I would say the best thing to do is to turn on your TV using the Google Home Mini. That command seems to work really well for me. And uh, then once the TV is on, just to be clear, to reiterate, uh, as soon as the TV is on, all your commands will come from your TV speakers and not from this speaker, okay? If you ask for alarms, if you ask for reminders, things that the Shield does not yet support, they seem to know each other. They seem to realize, hey, I can't do that yet. I'm passing your request over to here, which is pretty damn cool. I think there is uh, some, definitely some advantages of having these two guys living in the same room together. Uh, and I hope that's answered some of your questions. Okay guys, so um, closing remarks with these two. How do they work together? Well, I've seemed to figure out a system which means they work quite well in the same room together, I think this these two devices can play nice with each other. Now, I do wish that the Google Home Mini was able to launch Android TV apps proper and not just sort of cast them, okay? Um, that would, for me, would bring another sort of functionality to this device and it's totally missing. It kind of just treats it as a cast, cast device in some scenarios and I wish it did a little bit more than that. Uh, on the other hand, if you have just a Shield TV, don't think that you don't need any other Google devices. It will not replace a Google Home device totally. We Shield owners, we were super stoked when uh, Nvidia announced the Google Assistant compatibility and alongside that we were promised a device called the Spot. I believe. Hmm, good job with that one in video. Where is it? Okay, so if you do enjoy using the Google Assistant on the Shield, I would definitely say that picking up an additional home device will enhance your experience. Okay guys, I hope that today's video has helped you to uh, see what you can do with a Google Home device and your Google Assistant on Shield TV. If you'd like to see more videos like this on the Google Assistant and on Nvidia Shield, please subscribe and of course, like and share and send to people if this video helped you out. That's all for today, guys. I will catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.